Hi guys, this is Kest again and today I'm going to talk about some of the things that I've seen in YouTube about the semen line and some of the stories about it and if you hear the pause it's my, my dog. So one of the things that I keep seeing is that there's a lot of groups. So semen line have a lot of groups and a lot of people and a lot of people following them. So you can find Simian Line groups on Facebook, you can find Simian Line channels on YouTube, you can find a lot of things about Simian Lines. But are they all true? Mm. That's the thing, are they all true? Are all the stories about Simian Line true? I would like that doctors can contact me so we can discuss it here. Because there's a lot of people on the world, there are doctors, geneticists, things like that, that they can help us. So if you're out there and if you're a doctor, oops, sorry, I have my brow so lifted, right? So if you're a doctor or a geneticist, biochemist or some sort of bioengineer, you know what I mean? So if you have that sort of profession or area of work, please contact us and let's talk about some of the things. I still have some questions that I, a long time ago I worked in a hospital. Yeah, I know it's weird because I studied arts, but I worked in an hospital. I talked with doctors and nurses that were specialized in these sort of areas of birth. So one of the things that people still do nowadays when a child is born is to look at their hands to see if they have this sort of line. Because most of people have this sort of line, see, these two, and they don't connect in the middle. But for us, they do. So this is called the simian line for those who never watch my videos. If you have this trace on you, you have a genetic difference, you'll probably want to watch the rest of the video. So as I was saying, there's still today that practice of watching the hands. It's quite amazing that still nowadays, no one really really knows it's some sort of syndrome or not or some, some level of syndrome because you know there's a lot of levels in autism I don't know about Down syndrome because I know some of them are quite apparent physically but I don't know if they have different levels I'm pretty sure they have different level of adaptation for example but for an autism there's a lot of not only syndromes but I'm sure there's a lot of different levels you know there's not much difference between us carriers and normal people the difference is the energy level most of the difference, the biggest part of the difference is the energy level. What brings me here is not talking about the lines and why do babies still are born with this line and what do they have, what are they? What brings me here today is to talk about, and I'm sorry all this intro, I don't understand why people still don't share things. Why do people don't share things? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why do you come to YouTube? discuss a subject and suddenly you don't talk about it. So for example, we're talking about genetic, these myths and these legends about this line and the stories about it all over the world but i don't see any doctor nothing interact with us to say this is this this is that and it's really weird because i don't know i find it really weird i find weird that people don't talk about things since i was a young boy i always find so hard because people are not just genuine. I'm not sure if this is a, a simian line trade or if this is a human trade, but people don't talk. If they feel they don't say it, how many times in life was I warned? Oh, you better not say that. This is a sentence that is really... <laughs> I don't know if you're passing or if you passed this before in your life. For me, that's a really common sentence. Oh, you shouldn't say that. Oh, you shouldn't complain. What? What? I shouldn't complain. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Why shouldn't people complain when there's something they have to complain about? So, why do people don't talk about these things if these things are on the table? If this is a subject that we're still talking... Because, take a, take a look, guys. If some doctor told me, like, for example, listen, you have 10% of a syndrome that's why you have that length and that's the genetic trace of it and we know all about it but I never saw first of all I never I never knew anyone that just went to the doctor and said listen I came to this console just to show you my line and ask you what is this I'm pretty sure the answer will be like most of the answers that I heard before it will be something like that's nothing which is not normal right because you don't say to someone that has a difference that it's in percentage quite different from average you don't say that's nothing well, nothing, that's what you're doing there. Nothing. And same thing happens with a lot of things relating to this line. I just don't understand. Why do people don't talk? I don't understand. 
I don't understand. I don't. I wondered a lot. Do we have a purpose? Is there a higher purpose? Is there something hidden that we don't know? But it doesn't make any sense not to know. It doesn't make any sense to feel things like we feel and not understanding what's happening because that makes something different because otherwise we would know because we're used to it but we're not so we're, if we're not and it's out of the norm why don't we talk about things that go out of the norm why don't we expose things most subject in the world for example and I don't know but being a gay guy I know that that aspect of your life you have to some at some point put yourself out there and it's not something that you need to put out there you just put out there to enlarge to help others that are you know you understand what I'm saying so everything in life is done that way we don't understand there's the underground movement they keep struggling and fighting and at some point it will emerge you know it becomes normal it becomes approachable it becomes knowledgeable so you can have access to those things but to these things somehow and I still don't understand why all this story about keeping it a secret you know what I'm saying? Why do we have to keep a secret of something so important? Why do we have to keep a secret of others if we need them in order to do what we're supposed to do? I don't understand. This is like moments that I have, that I still have, that makes me sometimes question everything. Is it just me that I'm against the grain and I'm just fixating on this idea so much? At the same time, there's a lot of signs and things that make me still go after it i don't understand or i do but i don't want to you know what i mean maybe i do understand maybe i just don't want to believe it in what i feel in what i think maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me you know what i mean i'm pretty sure that a lot of people think like this but damn at some point and this it's funny because the more i know about it the more challenges the more challenging it becomes and i don't understand the game rules i this is this may sound really weird my my sort of vlog today but i just wanted to put the finger on the part where it's not connecting so everyone is doing videos about this I'm doing videos there's people in India there's people in Japan there's people in America there's people everywhere in the world doing videos about this line and how different they feel but any zero of the scientific community even people that are slightly interested in science and genetics and DNAs and so forth where are they I just want to know where are you? Where are you? We need help. We need your help. We need help from that community in order to evolve. So I'm gathering info from mystical, from spiritual, from socially behaviors, energies, but we need you in order to understand better the processes that we're made passing and this is not a I don't know how to say in English a consult you know an appointment this is not an appointment this is knowledge this is evolution this is knowing better what we don't know now does it make any sense is it just me no it can't be so please guys let's make this subject more aware I know this is really weird coming from me but maybe sometimes you lose faith on looking for answers I really don't know but it hasn't been easy to understand and everything related to this sort of thing but it could be easier if those who have more knowledge could interact more I don't know I don't know guys I know this is really weird this is probably one of my vlogs that I'm always questioning things but there's so many questions and so little answers I don't know guys well I'm making this video I hope you guys connect I hope you guys interact I'm still you know searching and I'm still trying to make cooler videos I think I need to put them first on paper in order to make a really informatic video because I like to be natural I like to talk with you like if I'm talking with friends they just don't answer back but they comment and that's where I get the hype because if people connect with what I'm saying I've done something cool right because sometimes when I went to YouTube and I was searching for answers I would not connect with everyone well I would not connect with all of people so it's not a bad thing I guess okay guys this video is going too long this is just me saying hi and I'm thinking I'm gonna do another video more organized since this is one of my characteristics i'll see you guys soon and i hope you guys can comment subscribe to my channel and follow on my social networks till then bye